I three topics I brought you in the last iteration of this report uh, in August. The first one was the rising inflation, which had just hit about 9%. And the second was the Fed trying to tame inflation, uh, raising interest rates. And at the time, they, the Fed had just raised the rates at about three quarters of a point, bringing rates uh, about 6%, five and a half to 6%. And the next one was the obviously the high price of homes, which has really been for the last 24 months or so. Uh, okay, and as of last report, the NAR, or the National National Association of Realtors, just said that uh, in many uh, cases homes are 80 percent above three summers uh, three prices summers ago, ago, or around 2019. What's happening right now? As, as of this week. Uh, inflation reports came out at 8.3%. That caused turmoil in the markets, and it brought the markets down for about uh, down to about 1,500 point, points, which is something that haven't happened in quite a while. And uh, obviously, that points that perhaps in the Fed meeting uh, coming up in September, September 20th or 21st. Uh, there might be another increase in rates. And the last few rates have been kind of sharp, uh, three quarters of a point at a time. That uh, haven't happened in quite a while as well. When it comes to uh, median sales price of these house homes in this uh, in New Jersey, they the sales price increased by 11.5% to 630,000. The same with townhouse and condos, uh, which went up 6.4% to 415000 And then adult communities median sales price went up by 1.7% to 427000 in New Jersey. And the market is still pretty strong for sellers. Uh, se September the 10th, okay, is zeroing in about 6%. Okay, that's very different to what it was at the beginning of the, the year. In January, the same rates were at around 3.5% three and a half to three and a quarter. So what we know now is that the median household income has uh, failed to keep up with the home prices, okay? And according to the National Association of Realtors, about the prices of homes right now are ab about 80% higher, uh, higher than what they were three summers ago or 2019. Now, just to illustrate, this is how a home buying or a home buyer is affected when he's purchasing a home and he's taking a loan for, let's say, 400000 Okay, in January 22, 30-year uh, fixed rates were around 3.25%. Now, for a loan of 400000 the monthly payment was 1740 September 22, rates are zeroing in about 6%. So the same $400,000 loan, okay, uh, uh, has a payment amount of $23.98 with 20 cents, which is an increase of 657.37 or 27% higher. And that is just counting principal and, and, and interest, not taxes or insurance. Okay, so this is a very sharp contrast from now to what it was back then. Now, how I said before, the report on inflation came up and it caused turmoil in the markets because they expected a lower uh, rate of inflation. So what hints that in the next meeting of uh, the Federal Reserve, interest rates might be sharply, if uh, hopefully not, uh, increased in, the, in, in such, in such a, a meeting. The last few times, they've raised it by three and a quarter points, which is uh, a pretty sharp increase in rates. So let's see what happens if you need these values. For your particular uh, home in your particular neighborhood, feel free to reach out to us. We'll do it for you without you feeling any obligation in return, and we hope to be of service. If you like this content and you are watching it through YouTube, feel free to subscribe so that we can continue to uh, provide it for you. Thank you very much.